Hey, Daryl, thank you. It's official the Kiowa Casino in Deval is open. Casino goers were given the royal treatment and greeted with beads and balloons at the door today. Lots of Texomans tried their hand at the card tables and the over 900 slot machines. Many waited outside for several hours before the doors opened, but not everyone is ready to cut ties with the Comanche Red River Casino just up the road. I mean, if it's better than what Comanche is, then yeah. You come here and see what this one's about. Managers at the Comanche Red River Casino say they are happy to see the Kiowa Casino open, and they think the new casino will be able to bring more people to the area. $54 billion worth of revenue is expected to come the Kiowa Casino's way in just the first year alone. A lot of people have been waiting a long time for the casino to open, but quite a few people on I-44 today drove to the casino, but they had to wait some more. Ashley Sigmund was in Deval today, and Ashley, what happened? Well, Emily, so many people tried to go to the casino at one time that I-44 became jammed, and the Oklahoma Highway Patrol had to block the exits. But the extra time it took to get to the tables didn't seem to deter anyone. This afternoon, it was slow going on Highway 36 to get into the Kiowa Casino. The traffic jam went on for miles. Uh, earlier it was all the way to Highway 70 and backed up to I-44, uh, both directions. So the Oklahoma Highway Patrol closed both exits from I-44 to get to the casinos. And for a while, the Cotton County Sheriff's Department and officers from the Bureau of Indian Affairs made sure no one was coming in or leaving. I've never seen anything like it. And neither had some confused motorists who just wanted to try their luck inside. I was really surprised when we uh, got off the interstate. The, the line started at, the, at the, the exit, and we were surprised. I was surprised to be in a traffic jam in Randlett, Oklahoma. Some folks drove 40 minutes from Lawton. And waited 45 minutes, and then we get up here, and then they tell us to turn around. Again. By morning, everyone had come to the same conclusion. I think they might need to widen the road or make it double lane something. But until then, be prepared to wait. It's going to get better for a little bit, then, then later this evening, it'll probably get bad again. Now, managers at the Comanche Red River Casino say both the Kiowa and Comanche tribes are talking with the Oklahoma Department of Transportation about widening Highway 36, but no word on when or if that will happen. But it sounds like it might be a good idea. Ashley, thank you.